Hi guys, I'm Shmi and welcome to part two of my day visiting the factory of Rolls-Royce here in Goodwood. We're at the start of the production line today. We've already looked at the pre-prep work and the paint process, but here is where the action starts to happen. The cars come out from the paint shop behind to the beginning of the production line that we're going to take a look at in a bit more detail, looking at the wraiths being built. As you can see, it is a ghost that's just come out. Right now, I'm gonna go and take a little look down the production line behind me and see what's going on. So we'll just take a quick look at the different stations. First up for the wraith, this lovely white car. It has soundproofing, acoustic sort of foam is put into the car. You can see inside a pretty unusual view there. All the sort of acoustic side of things are done. Next up, the wiring loom. Over a kilometre of cables, 43 kilos. That bag with the wiring goes into the car. We've got a ghost here being prepared. That all goes in sort of before anything makes everything hard to access. Next up, some small components start to get added to the car. One of the things, this one's quite nice, dark red with white two-tone. Sort of various different things. You can see the wiring's already in place on this car. Moves up to the next place. We've got a navy right here. Very nice. Work starts before the dashboard go, can go in. This one, the dashboard has just been fitted. You can see all the bits. The next two dashboards are ready here to go in the car. This is as close as you'll probably ever see to the production line here at Rolls-Royce. Dashboard going into the brake before they then go into a brake period. And everything's checked over before the second part of the production line. Here, before things start to get really exciting, the fuel tank goes into the car. You can see them there on the rack before the brakes then get applied. Next up is the marriage. We've got the Wraith's 6.6 litre twin turbo V12 already mounted to the gearbox here and the axles on a custom built powertrain for Rolls Royce. It's worth about one and a half million pounds, this machine. It's going to bring it over here where the cars are just shuffling on the line and the mating is going to happen. Here it goes then. When everything's hooked together, we're almost at 2.2 tons of rake. Total of 16 bolts are going to be tightened up and hold the car together. It was cool seeing the marriage then, but after that, of course, the cars have to have the radiators attached back there and the headlights, and here the bumpers that come onto the car front and rear. This is the glass station, nothing being done here right now, you can see plenty of front and rear screens here. The next up is where the seats go in. You see a lot of work goes into these that you'll have seen in part one in the leather preparation before they go into the car at this station. See things starting to shape up, we've got different panels, they all arrive. Everything sort of organised, German efficiency if you will, from BMW, arrives in an organised structure before going onto the car. This is an interesting point though, this is where it turns before the car's head on down for the last straight on the production line. You can see sort of a, at every stage there's sort of all the protection and padding on the cars to make sure that they're absolutely looked after and they're supervised their eyes on everything that's going on so that's very cool. We're going to go and take a look at the final stretch then. One of the most important parts about the production of any Rolls Royce is of course the moment the spirit of ecstasy is mounted onto the car. Fantastic signature piece of all Rolls Royces. So the seats are in, the car's moving up ready for the next station pulled by hand. You can see here the doors are ready to go, those will be put on. Before the doors go in, the steering wheel needs to go into the car. 
put in place. Steering wheel in place. The, the next station is boot liners, some engine area parts, sort of minor cosmetic parts. Then we go on to wheels. One of the very last steps. Wheels going on this rather interesting ghost here. Not pretty helpful having that nifty machine to do it for you. And then we reach the end, the car at the very end here, you can see it's sort of got tape holding and blazing in place. The battery's being charged up because after it leaves the production line, it's going to be driving around to sort of up and down to the testing areas as the various cars around me here are doing. But it's been fascinating to see exactly what goes in. This is quite a nice ghost, red and black the whole process, seeing what goes on. There's going to be a third part though showing you what happens now though, because the cars have to go over to be monsoon tested, and not necessarily see here, but out in front of me there are a lot of wrecks and other Rolls Royces. So I'm going to show you all of those, so make sure you subscribe for part three. I will catch up with you again soon. I'm also going out to drive a rake now. Cheers! I'm going to head on inside and go take a look at the factory. The very first thing that's going to be entering the test chamber Looking forward to seeing this. I'm about to go for a drive-in. So I'm going to hop on round, jump in the driver's seat, and we're going to go and check it out.